What is up everyone, tis I, Z Gaming Guy. And in this video is the one I promised I would do when I showed off my equipment. This is my software and step-by-step -step what I do to edit so that you can try to bring out some of the best quality you can. Now, this is from the year I've been doing YouTube. Everything I've seen from all videos and all sources, you know that these are some of the best things to do in order to get good quality. So let's first start off with what I use to record my audio, Audacity. It's free, so you can get it, no problem. And if I remember, I'll put it in the description, but uh, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna forget. So this is what you do. Once you're in Audacity, you wanna click on the left side where you see that little bar underneath the two volumes. And once you click that, it'll highlight the whole section. And once you've done that, you wanna go up to Effect, go to Compressor, and make sure everything is as is with mine. Once that's finished, you want to go over to noise reduction and you want to highlight a spot where there's not a whole lot of noise going on because this will this will take out the background noise, the fan noise, stuff like that in small clicks. So you want to find a section like that, highlight it, then go to get noise profile and make sure all these settings are also as it is on my screen. Once you've gotten the noise profile, you want to go over and click that left tab again, that left bar, highlight the whole thing and go to repeat noise reduction and that will take out like everything throughout the whole thing um, that looks like that. So that's how you take out the background noise. It's important to me, I think, to do compression first because the whole point of that is to basically raise the low volumes and lower the high volumes. And if you do that after you do the noise reduction, sometimes it kind of counter counteracts it. So it's best to do the compressing first. Now, before we move on to the actual editing software, I do use the Elgato. So I use the Elgato software and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It obviously is not cheap compared to some other things you can do on the PC, but that's just what I use, so I'm letting you know. And here we are in the actual editing software, which I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13. Now, even though what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be showing you on Sony Vegas, you can probably use these techniques on most editing softwares. So just keep that in mind. And like I said, I'm gonna show you how, what I'm doing behind the scenes. So here we are with everything at its raw. It's not edited or anything like that. So we're gonna go step by step what I normally do. First of all, super important, start off by right clicking on the actual videos, go down to switches and disable resample. Do that with all video forms, like no matter what, <laughs> because that stupid thing adds like this motion blur and it looks absolutely horrible. So once you take it off, things will look a lot smoother. So definitely start off doing those two things. After that, since I have a green screen, I'll show you what I do there. Um, you want to go cl right click it, go to video ev event effects, or you can go over to that side, doesn't really matter. And it's in um, alphabetical order, so you don't need to worry about that, but it's right here, chroma key. Here. That's what you use to take out any sort of color. Go to go add, and then you can add whatever you want as you're doing this. Like if you want to add a saturation adjust, add uh, on sharp, whatever. Um, you can always do that, but obviously I don't want the saturation, so I'm going to take that off by clicking on this. Now, Chroma Key. Here. So here's where you would like typically uncheck it, so it's not active. Click on here, click on this uh, thing that takes the color. You do that, and then you did. Oh Jesus! And then you would adjust all this stuff. But I already have one saved right here, so that it has all the settings already. So that way you can see that it did that. Now, for me, since I like to put myself on this side uh, playing Guitar Hero, I don't want to be facing this way. I want to be facing the other way. And what I do is go to Pan and Crop, right click, flip horizontal. And this is what I do almost every time. I make, it sh make sure I'm facing the correct way. I'm going to keep myself this size for now, but I will eventually adjust it once we're actually in more of the Guitar Hero thing. Now, before we start editing again, we want to go to the audio, right click on that, audio event effects and here we have options that we can do with that now I want to go to track noise gate click on that add it okay and here you want to basically what this does is if it's not within a certain decibel like if it's not a certain amount of noise it won't the mic won't pick it up and that's what you want because if you don't want people to hear you swallowing or you know breathing a little heavier and stuff like that this takes those things out so I already have uh, saved one. By the way, if you want to save any like setting, just go to save preset, name it whatever you want. Here is the settings that I have, so you can get the same level of noise blockage that I have. Another thing worth noting is, see, we're now we're right now we're in the game. 
Uh, what you can do if you want is go to video project settings and right here where it says pixel format you can go to 32-bit full range which adds more saturation but given that like i already have a highly saturated camera and stuff like that's not really necessary i only did it before when i had bad cameras so if you feel like you can compensate with a bad camera by doing that by all means but it's going to take like four times longer to render so keep that in mind now we want to sync everything up because we have my the face cam and we have the gameplay and we have the you know, audio from our voice. So there's multiple ways to do this. Right now, in, behind me, you can see that it says quick play, practice, settings. You can go like down, up, down, up, down, up, or something like that. Like say it as you're doing it. So that way you're, you know your voice is matching the game. And then you can match the uh, voice of the camera with the voice of the microphone. For example, let's zoom in here real quick. Match this up like this, bam, and then slide this over. So now these are more or less matching. But what we normally what you do, well I do at least, is I play it. That didn't fucking help at all because it's just a bunch of uh, strumming. See now you can see I'm trying to uh, sync up with this here. So let me do this one more time. We are number one. Yeah, that was actually really good. So it's synced up pretty well. Now we want to sync it up with this. As you can see, this is uh, too late, so we want to bring it forward a bit. See where we're at now. Now it's early, so you're gonna have to fiddle with it to make sure it's like all accurate, but once you do that, then you're kind of ready to go. So as you can see, <laughs> finally synced it all up. As you can hear right here. Also, if you look, if you look uh, over here on the preview screen, it's a little like laggy. And if you want to prevent that, just go to up here where it says best full. Go to good and auto. That should make it smoother. Yeah, as you can see, it's much smoother now. It's a little, the quality is lower obviously, but that's fine. It's not going to affect your end quality. This is just to make it so the video plays back smoothly. Because sometimes when you're trying to sync things visually, you need it to be smooth. Otherwise, it's hard to determine when to do it. So now that we have everything synced up, we have in the proper effects to make it so the video plays smoother, the audio is not as uh, clustered, and uh, all that stuff. Now we want to put like our face cam where we want. So you'd click over here where it says uh, track motion. I already have a preset. Uh, I don't think I, I don't know if I have one for this. <laughs> I have a new camera one apparently, but I don't want it there. I want it over here. So you drag this and uh, wherever you'd like, obviously. I'm gonna make myself a little bigger and pull myself back right about there. I can see that this camera or the mic is cutting into that a bit. So what I do is I go to crop, I'm gonna go to mask, and then basically surround what you actually want. So I'm gonna do something like this. And now there's a little bit gone, it's not interfering with the track. So now you're ready to actually edit the video. <laughs> you finally have everything where you want, and now you'd cut and piece whatever you want to do. That's totally up to you how you do it, but uh, this is a little different since it's a Guitar Hero song. I'd leave the whole thing in probably. Okay, now with all that out of the way, let's look at the <laughs> general settings, which affects everything. You want to go up here and click on this, Project Video Properties, and obviously you can see I already have a save. This is for YouTube with height, all this stuff. I have it. 60 frames per second or just under I guess off pixel format which is the coloring is 8-bit for me which is just standard um, full resolution quality best motion blur uh, de interlace I have none I think that makes things a little bit better I would not adjust source media to better match project or render settings just keep that unchecked here's where you want everything pre-rendered to go start all new project with these settings I do want that now over here in audio this is what I have I'm only going to show these things very briefly. I, you can always pause the video if you want to look, look at more, but I'm going to try to go through this quickly. Here's ruler. And that's it. That's it on that section. So that's your general settings that all videos should have the same. So now that you've improved the audio quality and audacity, then you've improved it yet again within your editing software. Then you took off all the motion blur nonsense in the beginning of the videos, and you also took out the chroma key, and if you needed to, you can adjust any type of saturation or whatever. You found a proper method to sync everything up by using your voice or using something in-game. You adjusted the camera position accordingly to whatever best fits that game. 
and you rotated or cropped anything necessary. Plus, after all your editing, now what you want to do, what I do to play it safe, is I double click up here, and you can see that now there's this line up here, this like little gray line, and it basically surrounds like the whole thing. I didn't finish the end, but that's fine. It surrounds like the whole thing, and when you go up to File, then you go to Render As, you want it to have Render Loop Region Only. That's what uh, the loop region is. That's what I, that's why we double click there. I've had videos in the past where I didn't do this. And when I go to render, it would render like 30 minutes of nothingness <laughs> on the back end of the video. So it's best to just play it safe and double click there, render loop region only. So that way you can avoid that. So as you can see, I already have a preset with this, which is best YouTube, but I'll go through it with you real quick, just so you can see what I have. So video format is AVC frame size, high definition, do not allow source to adjust frame size. Profile high of that. <laughs> frame rate 60 per second. Don't allow source to adjust frame rate. Field order none. Pixel aspect one. Bit rate 16 million. Number of slices just one. And encode automatic. Over here, this is the information. Sys system is not very important, but then you want to go to here to project. Video rendering quality best. And that about does it. Well, I hope this helped you guys get some information out of it so you maybe now know a certain way to get a better quality out of something because I see many videos where people don't use the noise gate or they don't use the noise reduction. And there's really no reason since Audacity's free and you can use two out of three of them. You might even be able to use noise gate on Audacity itself. I just prefer Sony Vegas's version because it's a little more high quality, but it is also hundreds of dollars. So it's understandable if you don't want to go that route. So even something as little as taking out that stupid fan noise in the background really helps improve the quality of your videos. You know what I mean? Like so many times when I see a tutorial or whatever online and I'm just desperate for that information. So I sit through this person swallowing and breathing and be like, um, so, um, <laughs> and I hear their fan noise in the background. I'm like, God, this is terrible. You can so easily take this out though. Now you don't need to be that person. <laughs> so this video was never supposed to be anything like tips and tricks exactly on the editing software of Sony Vegas, like how to like move your face cam and not like make it actually twirl and stuff like that. I could do a video like that, but there's already enough on there that are very well done that I learned from that I'm sure you can go and look check out. If people really, really want it, I can put out a video where I showcase a little bit of tricks on Sony Vegas, like how to do certain things, like some editing tricks and stuff. But as of right now, I don't plan on doing that. But if you really want me to, let me know and maybe I will. Well, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope it helped you out. I'll see you in the next one.